Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Use the Delight with Microsoft Technology. My name is Sanjeev Venkatram, and what we're going to do in this case is to do a modified version of a waterfall chart. And as you can see here, basically we've got sales on the one column, we've got SGNA costs in the other column, we've got direct costs in the third column, and finally we have sales minus uh, direct costs minus SGNA costs, which gives us the profit, right? So let's actually see how to create this chart. Now, unfortunately, we will not be able to use the visual straight up. So, well, first of all, let's actually look at the data. So if I were to go to the data and then look at, you know, the transactions, basically it's got the country, it's got sales, direct cost, and SGNA, right? So the profit is actually a derived entity. Now, if I were to use a waterfall chart straight up, um, I'll not be able to create that chart because if I were to click on, let us say, it's asking me for the category. So, you know, direct cost and SGNA costs are basically categories. I won't exactly be able to uh, break it down, right? So in these cases, what we do is basically, I'm going to go over to uh, Power Query. So I see my transaction PNL here, which got sales, direct cost, and SGNA, as you saw earlier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enter data here and create a table called the waterfall table. I've already done this, so I'm going to just show you. So enter data, and I create a waterfall table where on the one column I've got sales, direct cost, and SGNA cost. And in the other column, I've got the order in which these actually appear, one, two, and three. Okay. So I'm going to now close and apply and then bring this over to Power BI. So I've got my two tables. I've got the transaction table here and I've got the waterfall table here. What I'm going to then do is I'm going to create some measures for revenue, which is a sum of sales, direct cost, and SGNA cost. And then I'm going to actually create a measure in the waterfall table like so. I'm going to basically say uh, the a formula called waterfall WF PNL. You can have any name, you know. And I'll say equals to, I'll create my first variable for sales, which is equal to revenue, the measure revenue. Then I'm going to create a variable for direct cost, which is a negative of the direct cost because you want to subtract the direct cost from revenue. Then I create another one for SGNA cost, which is taking out the SGNA from revenue as well. What I want to return is I want to use a switch statement over here and then says, give me the max of the order here. Start with that. And then say, for one, it should be sales. For two, you know, switch statement works that way, isn't it? Basically, you have order, which is your parameter. And then you say, one is, it's going to start with one. It's going to start, then go to two and three. So one is sales over here, two is direct cost, and three is SGNA cost, right? So I'm going, I'm calling the variables here. So for one, I'm going to call sales. For two, I'm going to call direct cost, and for three, I'm going to call the SGNA cost. Okay. So once I have this set up, then I basically go in and then I add a visual like so, like I've done in the previous case, and then I'm merely going to actually enter the formula. And then I'm going to enter the items here, right? Item one is my sales. You know, it shows SGNA cost here. I just need to store, sort it, sort the axis and direct cost. So if I go down here, click on the three dots, and I say sort axis by items, it basically, and sort ascending is what I will say, sort uh, ascending. It's basically going to say, well, I need to sort this proper, so I'm going to just click on this guy here. I'm going to say sort column by the order. And lo and behold, you'll actually see sales, direct cost, and SGNA cost, and finally, the profit. Okay? I trust this was helpful. Comes in very handy as you're analyzing variances, so on and so forth. If you're analyzing uh, profit as well, going all the way in your PL from your revenue all the way to your operating margin. Okay. Thank you very much, folks. Cheers. Jim.